Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're actually doing like a makeup look. <laughs> it is early. Recently, I've been really, really actually inspired by Dorian Electra. If you don't know who Dorian Electra is, they are a singer, and I believe their first album is coming out soon. Until then, until now, they've only had like um, singles. And my favorite single is Career Boy. <laughs> I've been listening to that like on repeat. I love it. They also have a song called Flamboyant, which is really catchy. And that's where like I got hella inspired by the makeup looks from that music video. So the looks in general are very blush heavy, blush inspired. I see sometimes they're using blush to do kind of like a contour thing, which is fascinating. I never really thought to use blush kind of like that. And you see this very like heavy red eye makeup and I, I love the overall effect. It is gorgeous. And there's actually, I'm not doing today's look based on it, but there's a another part of the music video where they have like this dark almost brown smoky eye and then there's like a gold um like halo eye very thin in the middle and <laughs> uh, <laughs> I spent the whole like the first time I watched the music video I was just staring at the makeup I was like this is gorgeous who did this this is amazing I want to do this and it's been a while since I've been inspired like that by anything so I I knew I had to do something eventually and I thought it was perfect because a lot of these looks are super blush heavy and I'm trying to pan a blush <laughs> So yes, two and two together, Monica can do basic math. So this, I'll throw the picture up of the look that I want to do based on this. If you zoom in, you can see that it's very blush heavy, like over the bridge of the nose and up to the cheeks. It does look like there's just a tiny bit of a carved out blush based contour that comes down here and like right up to here. They also did little dabs of what looks like white eyeliner on top of the blush in the middle. And then there's just like red eyeshadow with a very light inner corner highlight. Ah, ah, I wanna try this and just see how it turns out. It looks so pretty. Ah, I can't wait to try this out. So to do this today, I'm of course going to be using my pan, 9 pan 19, I almost called it my pan that palette blushes right here. I think it would probably be leaning more towards like the darker blushes, but I'm gonna try to just mix all of them together and see the effect that I get because it does look like they matched the blush to the eyeshadow, but I don't think the eyeshadow, I don't think these blushes would be deep enough to get that kind of look with eyeshadow. So I'm also going to be using the blood sugar palette. Specifically, I wanted to dig into like these reds right here. And then for the bright inner corner highlight, there is a white shade right here, or I can grab a white highlight shimmer because I do have the Jeffree Star uh, Ice Cold Highlighter. So if I need to, I can bring that in too. But those are kind of the products that I thought right off the top of my head to bring in for this. So I already did a foundation, concealer, and just my brows because it does look like they went for bold, full brows, which is kind of just my normal everyday brow. So I went ahead and did that. For foundation, I'm actually going back to an old favorite I'm rediscovering. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. It's been my go-to. Like, I've been walking to work, it's been hot outside, the trains have been cramped. This has held up for me. Uh, unfortunately, shade 122 is not a good shade match for me, so I do have to use a white mixer. And I've been using my Cover FX Golden Drops, because this is more of like a, a cool undertone. So I've been using that, and together I get a pretty good shade match. It actually works out really well. This is almost gone though. As much as I'm tempted to rebuy this, I have other foundations I need to work through. So I'll probably just keep using that combination until this runs out. So I did set most of my face with powder since we are going to go in with a hell of a lot of blush today. <laughs> so I want to start with my eyes first because I think that would... Yeah, I'm looking at the picture. I want to go heavy with the red and then we can go on to like the blush and the blush contour, the blonde tour. So I have this picture like zoomed in super, super far on my laptop and it looks like there's only two different shades of red that I can see. There's like kind of a light red, almost a pink, and then there's like one deeper shade of red. So let's start with, let's start with this one, Prick. Let's see. Uh, 
and I'm not being really precise with this. This whole look looks very blown out and kind of messy. So I'm not really going to be too precise with anything. I'm bringing the eyeshadow all the way up to my eyebrow, just like the look. Ooh, that got dark pretty fast. <laughs> For the next darker shade, I'm going to take Cherry Soda, which is right here. And I'm going to try and basically just keep this to the outer third and just blend it up a bit. So now I'm going to take those same two shades and do the same thing on my lower lash line. It looks like it's like a very dramatic lower lash line, like it comes all the way down to here. So I'm going to do the same thing, make it very dramatic. If, if you couldn't tell already, this is going to be more of a kind of editorial look if it, this isn't your everyday neutral look here. <laughs> this looks nuts. Whew. I think it'll come together. <laughs> I think. We'll see. So by zooming in, I can see that there isn't any mascara or liner. I think I'm a break from that. <laughs> I do want to do just a little bit. Ugh, I, I'm debating. I kind of want to do just like a black liner. But I could just do mascara. Let me do the inner corner highlight and then we'll see how this looks. So I did end up bringing the ice cold highlighter in because it did need to be a bit shimmery looking at the picture. I think I'm gonna try to stick to this and just do mascara because my eyes, I feel like my eyes are tiny and I need a little bit of mascara. So let's do that and then we'll go on to blush. Okay, so the eyes are done and I'm feeling a bit Gerard Way <laughs> and less Dorian Electra, but we're gonna get there. So unfortunately, I am gonna have to turn the AC back on because this is an attic and it's getting hot to the point where like I'm starting to sweat up here. And if I sweat when my makeup's done, it's fine if I don't touch it. Normally, this foundation and concealer combo won't break down. But if I'm sweating and I'm still putting makeup on, like the brush is gonna start pulling away the makeup, which kind of just started right there. And I really don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna put my AC back on, let this cool down a bit. And then for the blush part, I think I'm just gonna throw music on and kind of speed it up because otherwise I feel like this is gonna break down before I can get the blush on. So let's jump to that. <laughs> So despite some technical difficulties, I actually really like this so far. I did realize that both of my white liners are crap. <laughs> They're dried out and they did have some black on them for some reason. So like some of these spots don't look as white as I would like them to. If I were to do this again, I would instead take uh, like my white foundation mixer and like a thin brush and just like dot that on. I think that'd look a lot better. And these are going to go immediately into the trash because they're kind of dead. I really like this. So just to finish off the look, looking at the picture, it looks like they, it's hard to explain. It looks like they put on a lip product and then took it off, but that lip product like stained their lips. And then there's like a gloss on top. So I think the best way is just to like scrub my lips and then throw a gloss on top. I think that would do this pretty well. So I have two glosses here, one from NYX. This is the Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. And then I have the Marc Jacobs Mini Lip Gloss that I've had forever. And this is in the shade Sugar Sugar. I don't know which one would be better. Let me try the NYX one first. Ooh, okay. That worked. So let me take my hair down real quick and let's see the final look. Okay, 
so overall I actually am very happy with the way it turned out it's definitely not exactly like Dorian Electra's look but I liked putting my own little like spin on it I would definitely try this again like I said I would use like a white foundation instead of the liner because that didn't turn out so well I've had those liners for too long and they just didn't work out oh, I just think this looked cute it's different it's editorial and I actually really like how it turned out and I like that it matches like my little headband and my hair looks a bit crazy today but I feel like it fits the look so thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't listened to any of Dorian Electra's music, I will have my favorite songs linked down below. Check them out, watch the music videos, they're really catchy and I love them. And if you are already a fan, please let me know down below and if you've ever tried to recreate any of these makeup looks, because I'm just like amazed by the makeup looks in these music videos. Thank you guys again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.